Perfect. Perfect. It's easy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Three, two, one. one. Hey guys, Brendan from ASM Scholarships. I'm with my man, Brandon. How you doing, How's buddy? It? All good and you? So, uh, Brandon, um, we're obviously in his, uh, um, we're not in South Africa, <laughs> but that's where you're, where you're from. But uh, we're in, we're in uh, Boca Raton, Delray Beach, Florida right now. He's on a little holiday, but maybe we'll kind of explain exactly what we're doing here. But let's kind of first introduce you, like, where are you from? Um, how long have you been working with us? Why are you working with us? Your sport, just kind of everything. Uh, well, I'm Brandon. I'm from South Africa. I've been working with ASM Scholarships for just under a year now. My main sport is rowing, and I've been rowing for my school club, and now I've been rowing for the national team. Awesome, awesome. So, what brings you to Florida? Uh, well, I firstly, I've been on official visits, and now I'm staying in Florida for a little while before I go on my next visit, so I've just been spending some time with family here. Awesome. So, um, obviously, you're a rower. Um, which schools are you visiting? I'm visiting uh, Syracuse University, Princeton and the University of Washington. Okay, and you've already visited one? Yeah, I visited Syracuse just Syracuse. recently. Yeah. So what were your thoughts about Syracuse? Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It had a great atmosphere to it. The boys there are just lovely. So I really enjoyed the whole vibe that I got from all the boys and all the team. Everyone was really friendly. So that was like a really important part for yeah. me. Mm. And what, what did you do on the visit? So basically you, you, you came to Florida, mm. um, or maybe you flew from South Africa to Syracuse? Yeah, Syracuse? I flew first from South Africa, then I landed in Syracuse. Okay. and. I went directly from there to stay the night in a hotel and the next morning I met with all the boys. I went to one or two lectures, then afterwards I went to a training session with them. Then I actually spent the night in one of the dorms and then I basically repeated the same process the next day. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Did, did the school pay for your accommodation? Yeah, okay, they so paid for everything. All food, um, uh, staying in places, everything was covered. <laughs> awesome. So you arrive, at the, you arrive at the school, you, you sleep in a hotel. You get to the program, you watch a practice, yeah, training. Yeah, so I watched a, a morning gym practice and, a, and an erg session, and then in the afternoon I went on the water with them to watch them row. Awesome. Yeah. And then you also, you saw us at like classroom time. Oh yeah, so I went to four lectures, two psychology uh, lectures and two business lectures. Awesome. And in your psychology? Uh, yeah, I want to study, my major wants to be psychology. Uh, and they kind of coordinated that for you? Yeah, they did. <laughs> mm. Pretty cool. So, and then you, you stayed in a dormitory by yourself with, a, with an athlete? Uh, I actually stayed in a, a two-man dormitory with another rowing athlete. However, he was actually away racing. Mm -hmm. So I mainly had the time just to myself. Awesome. And you're a 2020 recruit, yes. right? And, and you actually, just kind of rewinding a little bit, you actually competed against one of, because we had a conversation oh, prior yes. to this video, <laughs> um, but you competed against one of the teammates. Yeah, so funny enough, I uh, actually went with one of the coaches to meet with um, the, the 1V crew. And one of the boys I actually met had been one of the boys I raced at uh, Junior World Champs now in Japan just recently. Wow. Which was quite interesting because we had not even actually spoken, right. but now we had this opportunity to actually meet and communicate <laughs> a little bit, which was you kind of cool. eyeballed each other on, on the water <laughs> a little bit, but now you're kind of face to face, potentially yeah. being teammates. Mm. Cool. So, what, what was kind of like the biggest takeaways from you from Syracuse? Um, so, I think there were three main things that I took from it. The first thing was basically the whole friendliness of everyone there. That was really important to see how I was going to get along with everyone. The second thing was the, the, the crew dynamic. To see that how hard and like how willing everyone was to train was a really important thing because I saw that all the boys there came and they wanted to do what they had to do. Mm -hmm. And I think the third thing was classroom. Like when I went to the, the lectures, it was so engaging, yeah. which was really, really important to me to actually see that I could sit in this classroom now for the next hour or two hours and I could engage the entire lesson. Awesome. Mm. So we've got two more visits lining up. Yeah. And obviously Syracuse is kind of looking great at, at yeah. the moment. <laughs> um, the next one is, uh, to, actually today you get, yeah, I leave after today. I leave, you're going to leave to get on a plane yeah. and you're going where? To Princeton. You go to Princeton, yeah, the so Ivy League school. Yeah. Awesome. So, and you're gonna visit with the school for that day, right? Yes. Okay. And then after that, for, at Princeton, we'll kind of maybe we'll get on a call, we'll schedule, we'll talk about it, recap, and then you're coming back to Florida. Then you're going to uh, the University of Washington. University of Washington. Yeah. Okay. And what what are kind of your thoughts going into Princeton and Washington? Uh, so mainly from Princeton, I really want the opportunity to just see what that type of dynamic is like there, to see what that type of caliber of work and ethics are. So that's really important for me to see now. And then going to the University of Washington, I want to see something similar to Syracuse, but maybe a different dynamic and a different vibe from the team and the crew, see what they have to offer in a sense. And then also the same thing, going to a lecture, seeing whether or not I can 
engage with the teacher, all of that. Right. And, and do you know what you have planned for Washington, Princeton? Um, so for Princeton, I have a, a day tour, and then I also have a water session with the crew. Mm. So that's like the two main things. But with the University of Washington, I know I'm arriving there. I'll meet with the crew, and then one of the days we actually have plans to go watch a football game, nice. which is really cool because that'll be my first football game I actually get to watch live. <laughs> yeah. So that's really different for me. So that was really, really cool. Very cool. And then it's basically similar stuff. I'll go to training session with them in the morning, the afternoons, go sit in a lecture or two. Yeah, so that's about awesome. it. Awesome. Mm. So kind of recapping it all, you, you, you're in the U.S. right now, you've yeah. been to Syracuse, you're going to Princeton uh, today and tomorrow. You come back to Florida, you fly out, you go to Washington, so we're seeing three schools, yeah. and then hopefully maybe making a decision yeah. um, this month, next month, mm. and then figuring out where to go. Yeah, yeah? basically. Awesome. Well, all right, guys, so um, if you're interested in obviously going on visits, I mean, Brandon obviously is having a, a yeah. great time. I mean, he'd probably recommend it, I'm not sure, maybe. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> wow. I've had such an amazing experience. I mean... I've gotten to see so much that's outside of my own like country and continent right. that I really never thought I'd have the opportunity to experience. Yeah, and I think the big thing to take away, I think we talked about this earlier, mm. your, your mindset coming to the U.S. was like Princeton, 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 Yeah, like right? the big Ivy League schools, but then when you actually have an opportunity to visit and spend time with that university and those boys, it is completely different to what you actually think, yeah. which I think is one of the most important things I've taken from this whole entire like visit. Yeah, I think just the big thing is like, going to see it like social media yeah, doesn't do the justice really doesn't not yeah. even uh, like the the video calls or messaging or emailing it really doesn't give you the same experience that actually going there face to face and meeting has perfect all right well appreciate the time brandon thank you very Good much luck on your trips thanks eh? and we'll see you next awesome. time thanks. that was cool yeah <laughs> so yeah we like to do these